everyone, Paul ISM. Welcome to another inbox review. Now, today we've got a slightly different review from me. Um, we're going to review uh, some Games Workshop Space Marines. Now, these are the brand new uh, Primaris Reavers that were released, I don't know, three, four days ago. Um, never really done reviews of this type before, the Games Workshop. There's not a massive amount of them out there. Um, so, going to add some to the channel in the next coming weeks and months. I've got a few things I've bought. Um, and we'll see what you guys think. If there's an interest, I'll keep doing it. If there's not, then we won't. Uh, I've got no knowledge of the games Workshop, Warhammer, Universe at all. Uh, and I've got no interest in playing the games at all either. Uh, I just like the figures. They're very cool. They're interesting. Uh, they're fun to paint. And they look pretty cool as a little mini army in your display case. So that's what I've done. I've got one set of Space Marines that are par painted. Uh, need finishing off. And I bought these and several other sets and bits and bobs to do over the coming weeks and months. Like I say, it's a completely different change from what I normally do. And it's nice to have a change because it gives you a cut off if you're having a kit that's giving you a bit of grief or you're losing your mojo for. Leave it, put it to one side, pick some of these up, you're brush painting them, you're airbrushing the base colours, and they're great. They're a completely different uh, break from the norm. So there we go. So let's have a look at the box and let's have a look and see what we get. Okay, there we go. There's the box. Tiny little box, as you can see. Not the biggest. Inside, we got two, four, six, eight, ten Space Marines. Uh, now these were twenty-eight pounds plus post from Goblin Gaming. I've used them a couple of times now. They've been absolutely fantastic. Great service, great prices. So head on over there and have a look. Uh, like I say, ten figures. Uh, these are brand new out. Probably been out for less than three days, four days. I think it was the 29th they came out. It's the second today. Uh, and I saw them. Loved the look of them. And thought I'm going to get myself some of these. So you've got the front box up. We'll have a closer look at it in a minute. Uh, on the back, you've got some description of the different suits, uh, the weapons, etc., and the colour callouts as well. So we'll come in closer, have a look what's on the box, and then have a look what we've got inside. Okay, so there we go. There's the box. Uh, as you see, it's got the 10 Marines depicted on the front, all kind of different uh, in action poses. Uh, they look very, very cool. I do love the half face, half. Uh, skull faces of them uh, does look absolutely superb. One of the first things that caught my eye about them uh, looks like a great weapons uh, loadout. And I know we get lots of options with these things, and these do look absolutely fantastic. Uh, on the back, we've got again uh, a couple of different schemes. So you've got uh, salamanders, raven guard, and space wolves. So I'm assuming you can do all of those out of these and add them to your, I don't know, squad, whatever it's called. <laughs> like I say, I know nothing about Warhammer at all. Um, you've got your different uh, weapons. You've got a combat knife, the heavy bolt pistol, the grapnel, grapnel launcher, uh, the grav chute, and bolt carbine, and that's it. Uh, Colour card out to the bottom, they're all there. I'm going to hold them up so you can have a look. If you want to read it, uh, you can have a pause. I'm not going to read them all out because there's quite a lot of them. But for all the different uh, colours, the cool lads are there. Obviously, in Citadel uh, Games Workshop paints. So, attractive boxing. Uh, they're pretty sturdy boxes as well. Like I said, I have been in this one. Um, there's nothing much else on the other sides. We've got warnings, uh, the scan there as well. And just a close-up picture on the other side. So, let's open it up and see what we actually get. So, inside, let's open up the box. Inside we have one, two, three, four, four sprues, a bag of bases, some instructions, and some decals as well, which we'll get to in a little bit. Now, one thing I did notice, and I can find a slightly older one, I may have to go rooting, uh, but there's a vast difference in the quality of the moulding. Now, these are brand new. Um, so they are going to obviously be of a higher quality uh, because the mould's not been used as much as older ones but they do seem absolutely fantastic so on here first off we have heads, legs, heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes now we've got heads, backpacks, legs, bodies all kinds of sorts of uh, assorted torso parts um, We've got a couple of sheets for the knives, so on and so forth. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pander over them all because I literally, I don't know what I'm looking at half the time. So the best thing to do is if we just come in and have a look. So if we start there, and I'll just work my way around. You see how crisp it all is. Um, things like 
this here absolutely beautifully molded really is absolutely stunning really crisp recessed and raised detail absolutely beautiful same with the legs let me spin it around legs again as well absolutely beautiful it really is top notch uh, molding by Games Workshop even some of the older ones have got uh, literally all you can see the difference is it's not as smooth on the older stuff uh, these are not more crisp, just a bit more polished on the flat parts, I'd say. Uh, obviously, as moulds get used and worn, they do start to wear out. There's the bodies, there's the heads. We'll come back to those and spin them around in a minute and have a look at the front. But there's the back of them. We've got the backpacks as well. More legs. More bodies, more torsos. I'll spin the legs around so you can have a little look. Absolutely stunning detail really is absolutely beautiful like I say I don't know anything about the uh, Games Workshop 40k etc universe but I can tell you that this moulding is absolutely superb now the kits aren't cheap at all um, but I think the level of quality you're getting is well worth it there's all the heads that are included not all but some of the heads included 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 there's 12 there I'm assuming we have another sprue of them. I think this sprue is doubled, to be honest. But if you can look there, those faces are awesome. I just love um, the half skull, half but well, sort of human looking head. It looks absolutely fantastic. It's going to be tricky to paint because obviously you've got skin tones. I'm not the best at skin tones. But absolutely fantastic. The, the moulding is just superb. It really is. Uh, level of detail is just phenomenal so let me just see if that sprue is doubled it looks to be it is so there's two sprues of that type so we're getting 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 we're getting 24 heads in total for 10 figures so plenty of choice there really is an absolute abundance of choice there and like I say that moulding wow absolutely amazing right now this one is this a duplicate sprue as well Indeed it is. So we've got two of those as well. So we'll just come in and have a close look at this. And this is arms and weapons mainly here. So we'll spin it around. It's not going to be a long review. So as you can see, I'm going to zoom in a bit. Give me a sec. Make it easier. There we go. So there's some pistols in the holsters. Again, absolutely superb detail. Working all the way down. Beautiful mold, and it really is. They're the things for the grav pack, I assume. I don't know, make some fly. I've no idea. Got the weapons themselves. Just look how crisp the detail is. It really is absolutely amazing. As you see, the hands are built in to the weapons. So the way I found it easiest is if I'm well, my buddy Sam, who paints these for a living. Um, basically, you know, if you can lead the weapons off, so you can get to the actual body armor of the figure do so so I assembled the arms and the hands and left them in their pose to connect to the body and left them off the actual figure but you can see the hands are already posed on the weapons uh, which makes it a little bit easier to do you got some arms more arms you've got multiple positionable appendages and weapons as you can see fantastic we've got a couple of knives one with a serrated back one with a flat blade Again, another one there. You've got the recipe for the grappler, the grappler, whatever it was called. And again, more weapons, different poses with the arms. There's a grapple thingy. We've got some of the oh, what are they called? Uh, I forget now. And it's on tip of my tongue. Seals or something. I forget now. I'll have a look at the instructions in a minute. There you go, some little bits and bobs, and some more weapons. Like I said, it's not a massive amount to review, but you can see the sheer quality of the plastic. It is absolutely beautiful. It almost rivals resin. In fact, I think it does. And I believe some of the later Games Workshop resin isn't as good. More edge weapons. They're beautiful. They really, really are nice. So, fantastic moulding. Uh, like I said, it's a brand new, brand new tool. Uh, literally three, four days old. Uh, I ordered them straight away and they arrived very very quickly. You also get your bag of bases as well. 
So you can put your figures on these, you can put some scenery on them, rocks, grass, whatever you want to do to make them more interesting for display or for your gaming as well. Um, so a nice little touch to get. And then we're on to the instructions. Not a lot to look at in the actual sprues. There are, I've got bigger kits to look at over there. They've got a lot more sprues in. I want to review these because they're brand new out and that's why we're having a little look at them. So instructions, we'll get the decals out and have a look at those. We can find them. There they are. Right, so what are the decals like? There's plenty of them for, for a start. As you can see, you've got different numbers in Roman numerals, squad numbers, campaign badges, the chapter they're in, battle line, the close support, fire support, veteran, command, lieutenant, iron halo, honor markings. There we go. Decals are nice and thin. They're a hmm, satiny matte finish. All looks being registered. And they're great, yeah, no problem at all. Plenty on there for options, definitely, for sure. Uh, you got a lot of different choices there. And I, I have used the decals before, never had an issue with them. So they should prove to be very, very good. So there you go, there's the decals. Now, the instructions, as you can see the instructions, you've got your typical pose layout on the front to give you some idea of what you can do. And on the back, we've got the decals, uh, their positions where they go, and the color call out as well on the back. Now, we go to page one. We go read this first. Uh, so basically, have a look through the instructions, familiarize yourself with what's there. Um, glue to use, fine detail cutters. Re basically, recommend their own tools and glues, which is fair enough to their company. Then we have the legends ex explanation of symbols. So you've got special instructions, uh, dry fit stage before gluing, repeat process, choice of parts, variant assembly, and stage complete. Now, on to assembly. Now, the instructions do require a little bit of, uh, yeah, you need to look at these because they're a little bit confusing, especially for me. Uh, I've only assembled, well, I don't know, 20 of these things so far. Uh, so you certainly need to have a good look at the instructions and familiarize yourself with all the different layouts. So, starting off with the torso, front and back, which shows you there, part numbers there. And you've got a leg, another leg, and onto the base. Now, where there's a variant, like here, you've got the cog symbol, which means variant assembly, is where you can change your arm poses for different weapons. Um, so this is what you need to keep an eye out. And obviously you've got to test uh, dry fit before gluing. So obviously you want to test all these in before you glue. What I did, I put the arms on the weapons. A little bit of time you're extra thin, or a little bit of a thicker Revel glue, to be honest, I think I used. Let that set for a couple of minutes so it's still movable. Then put it off it up to the torsos. Positioned it lightly without gluing. I think I used a bit of tape to hold it. Let that dry. Took it off. Stuck it on cocktail sticks. Job done. Went off them back up. They're very, almost precisely where they need to be. A little bit of CA glue. Job done. No bother at all. But this is where you need to pay attention. Different variants for different arms, weapons, etc. And each one has its own uh, number call out for the sprue as well. Um, so on and so forth, like you see, you've got different options for the backpack, uh, different options for the head, so they're all numbered there for you to choose. And then complete there and there as well. Um, so basically, it'll just go through, it give you different weapons. I think that was, was that a sergeant or something? Yeah, he was a sergeant. Um, it'll go through, give you all the different weapons options. Um, they can have grenades in their hands, uh, different uh, holsters on the back. A seal or something. I'm going to find out what that is in a minute. Because I cannot for the life of me remember what it's called now. And again, you're onto the Space Marine Reaver number two, number three, and so on and so forth. And all you're doing is you're building a basic assembly. And when you get to points like this, you're just picking what weapons you've got. So do you want the grappler, a bolt gun, a knife, and so on and so forth. And that's how you build up your little squad uh, as you go through. Some great poses there. It's quite a good one. Leaning in uh, to one side, knife in one hand, weapon in the other. And like I said, it's just going to go through, give you all the options, the basic assembly, pick your weapon, and build up your marine how you want it. Now, as you get to the back, obviously you've got all the different uh, options for what they carry on their hips. Um, so you've got pistols holstered, uh, you've got the sheath for the knives with grenades, 
and the different uh, seals on there as well. Now at the back you've got these essential rules, now this is where it gets confusing for me. We'll get your new unit on the battlefield for full rules for this unit, see the codex or index book relevant to your army. Uh, so there's a lot of information there which is absolutely meaningless to me. If you want to have a look, if you're interested, give it a little pause and have a read, but for me, I have absolutely no idea what that is banging on about. Like I say, I have no, like, zero interest in the game at all. I just appreciate them as little model figures. And there you go, more instructions, they're in foreign languages as you go through. And then we're back to the back page with the actual decals and the colour collats. Okay, there we go. So, not a long review at all, and I haven't got a colour I'm looking at. <laughs> but I've gone through them as good as I can, showing you the uh, quality of the mouldings, decals, instruction book, etc. Like I say, and I will say it again, I've got no interest in the game, I've got no knowledge of it at all, so if I said something wrong, please do, uh, apo I apologise. And if you know the names of anything I've missed, pop it in the chat. I'm going to look for that seal name in a minute, I know what it is, I've just forgotten. Um, but yeah, they look good figures, the quality of the moulding is fantastic, it really is top notch. They're not, I don't know, are they cheap or aren't they cheap? It's £20 for 10 figures. That works at £2.80 per figure. Um, I don't believe they're 156 scale, are they? Uh, 28 mil. A 135th resin figure will cost you 10 to £15 each. So is £2.80 really all that expensive for a figure that's cast? Uh, sorry, moulded in that quality? I don't think it is, to be honest. I think it's quite good value. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It depends whether you're interested in that kind of thing. Is it worth your money? Or if you think they're a little bit too expensive for what they are. But for me, I think they're good value for money. You can pay a lot of money for some of this stuff. Um, it's it's not going to be cheap to build an army. I can see that for sure. Uh, you can even buy complete armies in boxes, I believe. Um, but for me, they're interesting to paint. They're interesting to build. I prefer the painting to the building, to be honest. It gets a little bit monotonous building them. Um, but you'll see mine built up. But I will get back to them uh, once I get this bike out of the way. And I have a few more Games Workshop reviews to do as well. I've got a Get Started set, which is a slightly bigger set than just a Marines. I'm going to get a few extras in there. And I've got an Imperial Knight to do as well. So let me know what you think of the review. I know it's something different. It's not really a scale model as such. It is, uh, but it's not your normal uh, scale model we do on ISM. Let me know what you think of the review. And if you're interested, I'll do some more reviews and we'll have a look and see what else we can get. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, Paul at ISM, don't forget to check out the forum, International Scale Modeler. Uh, the Facebook page is the same name. Sign up, they're both free. Very well run, uh, very, very busy. Uh, check out the Friday Night Live show, uh, 7.30 UK, 8.30 Central Europe, 1.30 uh, Central US. Uh, we have great Friday shows, all live, myself and the crew. We have giveaways, uh, Q&A with you guys in the chat, Q&A with guests. Uh, we've got what we've been building, buying. Tim's as his kit releases, Dan looking at your work on the forum. And it's a good three, four hours to spend on a Friday night with us, and they are proven very, very popular. And as always, check out umpretail.com, myself and Lee's business, uh, www.umpretail.com. We've got everything on there you need for your modeling, sanders, thinners, cleaners, washers, masking tapes, airbrushes, the lot. We've got everything on there. Go and have a look. And uh, if you're watching the video, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, give us a subscription if you're not subscribed to us, and leave a comment. I read every single comment about everyone's feedback. Uh, let me know what you think of this review in particular, and if you'd like to see more, and if it's something that would interest you as well. Uh, and there you go. So that's it. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.